So what we have here is we have a box with a force pushing on it of 200 newtons in the direction of this three, four, five triangle that we have here. And the box has a mass of 50 kilograms and the coefficient of static friction between the ground and the box is 0.3. And what we're going to do is we're gonna find the friction force between the box and the ground. And so this is a pretty simple example problem, but we know that the maximum amount of friction that there can be before the box starts to move is going to be the coefficient of static friction uh, multiplied by the normal force. But the for friction force isn't necessarily that much. It could be less. And if it is less, it's going to be the um, same amount, the equal amount of force as this um, component of the 200 newtons that is pushing perpendicular to the ground or not perpendicular, parallel to the ground, because a component that is pushing perpendicular to the ground isn't going to cause movement on this box. So we can find the, um, we'll call this the x and y directions. We need to find a component of the force in the x direction. And so that would be, if we're using the geometry of this triangle, it would be 4 fifths times by 200. And that would equal, if you divide this by 5, that's 40 multiplied by 4, 160. So the force of friction on here is 160 newtons. Now to check and make sure that this box isn't going to move with that 160 um, newton force on it, um, we need to check and see using this equation. So we have the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force. So to find the normal force, we need to find out how much this box weighs. Well, it weighs 50 multiplied by the acceleration of gravity, 9.81. Um, but we also have a component of this force that is pushing down on the box, which is going to increase the normal force. So that is going to be 3 fifths times by this 200 newton force. And when you multiply that all out, you get that the normal force there is 610 newtons. And so, it's kind of confusing with the normal force and the um, newtons there, but um, 610 newtons multiplied by 0.3, which is the coefficient of static friction. So this max friction force needed to get it um, the minimum amount of force that we need to start moving the box is just going to be slightly greater than 0 0.3 multiplied by 610, which comes out to be 183 newtons. So this force, this um, maximum friction force is greater than this horizontal component of the force that's pushing in the box. So we know it's not going to move. So there's a simple example of finding the amount of friction force between two surfaces given that it's being pushed with a force. And in this case, we saw that the box wasn't going to move because there wasn't enough force pushing in that direction. Um, and so Hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments. Um, I've been creating creating some awesome designs with a student engineering logo, like the one on the shirt. If you're interested in stuff like this, I put it on hoodies and shirts and mugs and stuff. And you can buy that through the links down in the description to Teespring and Amazon, and that helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Paul from Student Engineering. My goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.